Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is me, TD Red of Rebecca Just Reads once again and in today's video I am going to be doing a pre-pre with you guys. I mean it, from my previous video we did discuss that we are going on a Ayurvedic journey. So we're gonna start today but I thought I don't want to overcomplicate it. The only new thing I'm adding to my normal pre-poo, my flexed pre-poo is just another oil. That's it. I'm also going to be discussing what Ayurveda is because I think somebody asked me in the comment section what is Ayurveda. So we're going to get into that and then I'm going to be discussing and getting into a deep dive of the ingredients I'm going to be using today and how they can be beneficial for you. And most likely if you can, some of these ingredients you can actually consume. So like flex seeds, basically. I like to put the seeds in my oats in the morning. So, and I also use it on my hair. So yeah. Um, and then we're going to get, yeah. So the three ingredients I'm going to be discussing in today's video is going to be flex seed gel or flex seeds as is, um, coconut oil, and then sweet almond oil. Just so that we are, you know, getting the right information, the right education while we are going on this journey. So without any further ado, let us get right into today's video. Okay, so if you have been if you've been following me for a while, you guys know um, that I love flexseed. So this is how it looks like. It's very gel-like. <laughs> this is how flexseed looks like after you have uh, put it on the stove with some water or let it boil for a few minutes and then the trick in making sure that it's nice and thick and it gets this like mucilage consistency is to let it sit so the longer you let it sit the more it will kind of thicken up and be very it will create like so this is a very soft gel you can also get like a, a thicker gel if you let it sit for longer it's still quite warm right now so that's why i want to go ahead and right you know start using it like i mentioned my hair is pretty dry because i used the store-bought um I use the store bought. Oh, look at that. The flakes are just jumping out. <laughs> I am going to be using a store bought. I used a store bought um, sheer butter and it was just tragic. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I mix the oils in the. I just want to first show you the condition in which my hair is in. We will only measure my hair at the end of the video once my hair is hydrated. And I'm going to be leaving the pre-poo overnight. Okay, here's the measuring tape. We're going to be measuring actually tomorrow. Because I normally like to leave this overnight and then wash it in the morning. So let's first check the state of my hair. And then we're going to be mixing these two bad boys in the flex seed. Alright? Okay, I'm first going to show you guys in the state in which my hair is in very healthy you know i'm coming into this wash day very confident so let us answer the question at had what is ayurveda and straight from google ayurveda or ayurvedic medicine is a healthy lifestyle system that people in india have been using for more than five thousand years ayurveda emphasizes good health and prevention and treatment of illness through lifestyle practices such as massages meditation yoga dietary changes and the use of herbal remedies now, what is Ayurveda if from a hair perspective? It would mean that you are using ingredients that are based on your dosha results. So if you are a kapha um, dosha, you will most likely have to use camphor, fenugreek on your hair, which I am. So I think maybe my hair might like fenugreek. If you are a pita, you would have to use neem oil, for example. You'd have to use hibiscus. So some of you guys' hair likes hibiscus and you don't know that you are actually a pita um, dosha. So everything that you're going to be using is going to be based on where your energy is at right now so i'm going to leave the article that i've I, I that basically made everything made sense to me in the description box and you guys can continue and just you know do the research further and also please don't forget to take the test just for your own knowledge really then the benefits of using sweet almond oils is that it actually conditions your scalp. So if you're somebody that suffers from like an inflamed scalp, use sweet almond oil. It strengthens your hair, repairs your hair, it softens up your hair. Um, I just love how my hair felt like. And not just that, you guys. You guys know that in July, my hair was breaking. I experienced a lot of shedding. And because I have went back to my old routine, I've been doing my pre-poos. I've been... My hair has just been so freaking healthy. I'm so happy with um, the consistency 
that I have been putting into my hair because just look at the results. I'm not struggling. I'm not, I've, my hair has not been shedding as much. My hair has not been breaking. I'm going to show you guys how much my hair has shedded in just a jiffy. But just look at the curl definition. If you have not tried this, please do. Look at that shedding. Can we go back to that old video in July? I had a ball of hair. Anyway, let's move on to measuring my hair as promised. So this is where my hair is at, you know, armpit length. <laughs> 22 centimeters on the side oh, at the back it's 22 centimeters that is about eight inches and a half so i actually washed the pre-poo out and look at the shine of my hair it looks super conditioned already mm -hmm. 24 centimeters so that is nine inches and a half overall you guys will notice that my hair kind of almost grows equally maybe an inch less or more but overall i would say it's actually kind of um equal and i like the length in which my hair is in i can't wait for more length though okay and the sides it's 24 centimeters also so that is nine and a half inches also the other thing is that I don't want to overwhelm you guys. So that's why I'm taking it easy into this Ayurvedic journey. I don't want us to use too, too many products at first without understanding the function of each and why we are using them and why your hair might benefit from the specific product. It's I'm, I really want us to understand that this journey is not, if it works for seed, it's gonna work for you. It's more of a customized hair routine that you're going to be building for yourself and you have to figure out which powders are going to be working best for you based on the test okay so if you guys have any questions um and if you did take the dosha test and you you know want to discuss and whatever you can literally just let me know in the comment section and i'll be able to answer it also the other things that i don't want to shock my hair i don't want to change things up so much that it gets confused and it doesn't know what it's doing and or how it should be behaving so i am going to be still doing most of my normal hair wash day routine that you guys know but and then just add two or three things not three is a lot just add one or two things and then see how my hair behaves right so you guys saw with this today's pre-poo i've never used any other oil i always use just coconut oil and flexi today i added sweet almond oil and i'm not gonna lie my hair feels shinier even though it's like dirty it feels shinier and it feels as if there's a layer of somewhat like moisture if that makes sense but there's like a there's a layer that i can feel that that's a bit new this time compared to when it's just coconut oil so think about it that way and try not to get overwhelmed and feel like you have to buy every product that's in the store there's no need for that and just also figure out you know why you're using the certain products and what are the benefits for it so i don't want to make this video too long i will see you guys in my next video we are going to be talking about shampooing once again because now we're going to be taking a different approach to it which is going to be the ayurvedic approach so i will see you guys in my next one and bye for now